for this craft, you will need scissors, you will need some beads, you will need some tape or glue, and then your box printables, which you can get here. And go ahead and cut out all of your boxes. This craft will take a lot of patience. You'll need to cut four slits on each side of the box. And you will need to crease it just like a box. Okay. To know where to cut, go here and look at the diagram. So you'll cut one, two, three, four little cre slits on each side. One, two, three, four. These are going to be the little folds. Okay. Go ahead and bend them to make the crease. And you'll need to bend them individually. So that way when you go to fold the box, they're ready to be folded. Okay, do the same thing for the other side. Make those creases so it'll be easy to make the box. I like to fold them both ways. That way they're nice and ready to be folded. And then you'll also need to make a crease at the top where the slits line up. And then two creases in the middle of the box, which is going to be the bottom of the box to make it stand up. So each place where you made the crease or cut the slit, you're going to need to make a crease all the way along the box. Then you can fold it just like a normal box. Go ahead and tape it into place. Then on one side, fold it all down. Fold it all into place and then either glue it or tape that into place. Sometimes it takes a bit of working with it to get it just right. That's okay. So I've taped mine into place. And then since one side of the box is closed, you're going to want to go ahead and add your candy. I just used regular beads because you're not going to see them. That way it gives it the candy shake. And now you can seal your box. Like I said, be patient. You might need to play with the box a little bit to get it to look right, but that's okay because it'll turn out great. And there is your concession candy.